Okay, uh, this is just going to be a quick do-it-yourself episode. I've had a few questions, people asking how I did the spikes on the shoulder of my jacket. So, it's just a quick little episode, but I'm going to go over it real quick just to show you how I did it and should work well for you. Not a very difficult job to do. Uh, there might be more than one way. If you guys have any ideas that worked well for you, drop me a comment or put a little video response down there and uh, give me some ideas and help people out that are asking me questions. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, needless to say, there's many different spikes that you can use. These tree spikes here are the ones that I had on the uh, shoulders originally that I had picked up in a little shop. I also had these little half inch tree spikes which were around the uh, wrists. Now I used these one inch cone spikes and I got them from studsandspikes.com. Uh, I plugged them a lot and the reason is because they've got excellent prices and they've just got tons of different merchandise uh, for this sort of thing and I bought them in a pack of 20 in fact I still have some left over because I only used four on each shoulder of the one inch ones here now whatever spikes you use they're gonna attach with a screw or a rivet if you get the kind that use a rivet you're gonna have to get the tool to stamp it in there and it's permanent it's not gonna come out without cutting the leather or whatever you mounted it to uh, as far as I know, studs and spikes doesn't carry them anyway. They all have these screws. This is the kind I would recommend because, like I said, I had one type on there and then I later took them off and put on a different type. Uh, the screws, basically all you're going to need to do is punch a hole in the leather, right? For that I use this pocket knife, which I've had for years. It pretty much does everything I need it to. You can use a hole punch, a leather punch, if you want to, but the shoulder is especially very easy to just drill it out with one of these right and this knife also has a screwdriver which of course you're going to need a screwdriver to put the screw on uh, to hold it onto the leather right so I'm going to get the jacket and go over how I did mine and that'll be it okay you'll pretty much just have to imagine there's no holes in there because if you haven't put any on there there's not going to be I decided to only use four and the reason is because of how uh, wide they are. If you use narrower spikes you're probably going to be able to get more on there. If you use wider you're probably going to be able to get less. Now see how the width of it. I tested them. I stood them up on there without the screws to see where I wanted them. Basically though you know where it bends and you know where the snap is and so I decided my two ends first okay. I didn't want it sticking off the side of the leather so I got it to where once it's snapped it's going to be in place and then the other one is going to be just off the side of the snap right I know you probably can't see that very well but you know I decided where I wanted them and then after that I could have put one in the middle it evenly spaced between the two but I had enough room to put two in there so I pretty much had to eyeball it. I didn't use a ruler or measure it or anything like that. I pretty much just eyeballed it so that I had about a finger's width between this one where I knew where I wanted it and the inside one and a finger width between this one where I knew where I wanted it and the inside and I ended up with about a finger width in between. So that helped me decide where I wanted them at which of course is going to be where you're going to want to start before you go punching holes in the leather. Now after that since I knew where I wanted those two, I took this tool right and I went ahead and unsnapped it. And then I just punched me a good hole through the leather. Very easy, right? I punched it in there, turned it around so I got a nice wide hole so I can get that screw in there. And then I punched this one, pushed it through and twisted it around. Okay, so I had those two holes. And then I went ahead and attached the spikes. And the way I do that okay is to drive the screw up through the other side the hole is nice and wide so I didn't need to like use the screwdriver for it and then just finger screw it on there 
And I know I said you need a screwdriver, and you really do. You want to go through later and tighten them up after you get them in place. And then I took that one and pushed it through. And it's a bit more snug. If the hole is snug, you can, see it didn't go all the way in, you can use the screwdriver to tighten it up. Okay? And then I put that spike on. And that's really when I went ahead and measured it. I stood those up on there, figured them out right about where I wanted them. And then after I found out, I went ahead and punched those holes and put these screws in. There. And then tightened them on. And that's pretty much it. Except after that, you're going to want to use a screwdriver and go through and tighten them up. So with them all finger tightened, you got them like that. Now these are going to fall off unless you take and use your screwdriver, hold on to the spike, and twist it on. Of course, if I have to tell you how to use a screwdriver, then I'm sort of out of my league here. All right? By this point, they really don't need much twisting to tighten them. Alright, and now, they're on there good and snug, ready to snap it on, and you're done. And you can use that same method for like around the sleeves, same deal, it's not incredibly thick, you don't need a leather punch, you just want to take any sharp instrument, I have a leather awl on this knife so it works great, decide where you want your hole. You should probably use like a chalk or something. I used a ballpoint pen because it showed up enough for me to see it. But uh, really wasn't permanent. Didn't make a spot on there. Found out where I wanted it. Punched it through there. Got it good and wide by twisting it around. Pushed the screws through. And tightened the spikes on. And you can do that all over the place. On the collar or anywhere. So there you have it. That's how I do the uh, shoulders for my jacket. So yeah, this was kind of a quick video. Just real quick how to do that. You can use that same method on putting spikes on just about anything. So if I forgot to touch on anything, let me know and I'll address it. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and clear out. So later. <laughs>